Hello and welcome to this Forex preview at XM.com. I'm Maria Pachardavis and joining me is investment analyst Mario Sajigiriakos. We'll be discussing the upcoming U.S. economic data and the outlook for the dollar. So Mario, it's a busy week in the States. We'll get to hear from numerous Fed policymakers on Thursday before a flood of data releases hits markets on Friday. Do you think these remarks or data are likely to move the needle for markets? I don't really think so. And here's my argument. The Fed has been clear that we are not cutting rates in response to any real weakness in the U.S. economy, but rather as insurance that the trade war and you know, a slowing global economy don't really catch up to the U.S. Now, what does that mean? That means that both economic data and speeches by Fed policymakers are secondary in determining whether rates will be cut again this year, for example, to the trade war. So the trade war, in my view, is the most important variable that will determine you know, whether we see the Fed acting again in December, for example, or even in October. Okay, so trade is definitely the most impar- important variable. Now, I understand the two sides are going to meet on October 10th for another round of talks. How do you see that playing out and what will it mean for the dollar? Well, here's how I think it, this all shapes up. The pattern before the last few rounds of negotiations has been that both sides start to uh, strike an optimistic tone before the talks actually take place so the market gets its hopes up that we may see some breakthrough but that usually ends without any real progress and without any real progress and you know the situation escalates again most times so i think this time will be a repeat of that pattern we've already seen some market hopes for a limited trade deal which i don't think will actually happen in october Nevertheless, what does this mean for the dollar? We may see the dollar recover a little bit ahead of the talk, so as the two sides strike an optimistic tone and chances of another Fed rate cut in October drop a little bit, but I don't think that will be sustained after the talks conclude. I think we're likely to see a drop in the dollar on a lack of meaningful progress in the talks, and we might also have another round of escalation with the Trump administration raising its tariffs on October 15, which is four days after the talks are scheduled to end. I see. Marius, thanks so much for joining me, and thanks for watching at XM.com.